In this short tutorial, we'll take a look at four special settings that you'll want to be aware of in order to be more efficient and effective when using Gmail. Let's take a look at those in the settings feature. In order to get there, click on the gear icon and then come down to settings. I'm in the general tab and I'll scroll down and we'll take a look at the four that you see here on the screen. Conversation view, send an archive, undo send, and stars. Conversation view is great to have on <clears throat> if you want emails grouped together that uh, all represent one conversation. As you're emailing a person back and forth, conversation view on would keep those emails together. Conversation view off would have those emails, even though you're talking back and forth, it would have those emails scattered throughout your inbox and your archive. Conversation view is great if you're emailing a group or having a discussion with the group and that is uh, one continuous conversation. If you are sending an email out to a large group and different people may be emailing you back with problems or issues that you have to take care of, then conversation view can sometimes not be effective and you'll want to turn it off because it will be a little bit harder to find those specific pieces because they're all clustered together instead of uh, floating to the top of your inbox. Send an archive is very handy and the fact that uh, when you reply to somebody typically you would reply and then if you want to get it out of your inbox to declutter you would then have to select that email and archive it. This basically combines those two steps into one. So when you send or reply to somebody, uh, not when you're creating a composition the first time, but when you're replying to somebody, instead of clicking send, you can just click the button that says send an archive, and it will send it and remove it from your inbox all in one fell swoop. Undo send is a great button. Uh, it used to be a lab and now is a part of Gmail. It gives you the option of waiting a few seconds before it actually sends the email. You'll notice here there's a drop down box it gives you the option of 5, 10, 20, or 30 seconds. Meaning once you click send or send an archive it will wait that many seconds before it actually sends it. So it just kind of goes to the background and waits for 5, 10, 20, or 30 seconds and then it actually sends it to the recipient or the group that you're sending to. Once it's sent, there's no way to pull it back and keep them from receiving it or appearing in their inbox. It's kind of like one of those um, uh, user error uh, avoidance features that have been included. Many times, as what we do is we will click send and then we'll go, oh, I meant to include so-and-so, or oh, I meant to tell them about this or include this document as an attachment that's where the undo send comes in very handy. So let me set five seconds. I normally leave mine on 10 seconds, but for our purposes, I'll use five. And then we'll take a look at each of these in a moment. The last one I want to tell you about right here is called stars. And actually there's not just stars, but there's also exclamation mark and other symbols, but Google calls them all stars. And this is a way of assisting you in just being a little bit more organized as you're working with your inbox. You'll notice there are uh, a list or a line showing what you have in use and those that are not in use. So you can click and drag to use only the ones that you want and you can also reorder them. And we'll talk about how reordering can come into play in a moment. Or you can go with the presets. One star, which is the yellow by default. Or you can do four stars or all stars. I usually start with one star and then I will move things up and select them as I need to. So let's get out of our settings and then take a look and see how these apply. Once you make any changes though, you'll want to make sure that you come down to the bottom and click save changes. Otherwise it should alert you that there are changes to be made and do you want to save those. All right, let's take a look at conversation view. I have conversation view turned on and I find it very effective and uh, very helpful. You'll notice next to each email, if it's something I'm going back and forth with a person, it'll have a number. This one shows three. Uh, and it means that between us, there have been three emails. 
there's no limit you'll notice down here there's 14 uh, and it can get you know however many conversations stay with that same subject line that are going back and forth uh, we'll just keep adding to that number as it gets in your inbox so conversation views are, are very handy send and archive is super handy also let me open up this email so I've sent an email to my personal Gmail and I'll just reply here so I'll say uh, last job normally we just have the send and then we would have to go up and archive it or send it to all mail but notice now I have this blue button send and archive by clicking on send and archive it will automatically send it and it will put it over in my all mail category uh, for archiving purposes Now let's take a look at undo send. Let's say that I'm sending an email to someone and I'll just say testing one, test one, two, three, and maybe I'm telling them some information uh, and I click send. Oh, I forgot to send them the, the time. So let me click undo real quickly and it will pull it back and allow me to edit, make changes, anything that I need to do, or delete the email by clicking on the trash can in the bottom right corner. But here you'll notice I can add some more very important information for that person. Click send, and now it gives me this little banner for however many seconds uh, I've designated. And notice once undo disappears, it's gone. You can't pull it back, it's now sent to that person. Also, when you try to send something, and the undo link is there. If you open up another email or you uh, start a new email, it will automatically move on so you can't go back and retrieve it even if you have more seconds left. So just be aware of that. And then you'll notice that there are stars next uh, on the left hand side of your emails. Just another way of organizing your information. So for example, if it's something that my boss sends me, and I go, ooh, I need to really, this is urgent, I need to answer this quickly, but I don't want it to drop off my radar or get mixed in with all the other emails that I have. So I will just click on that star until it becomes the red exclamation mark. That just tells me uh, whatever I've determined that to mean. Now, a uh, red exclamation mark may mean something to, something different to somebody else, so you have a uh, your own coding system with that. So that's how you make the most of Conversation View, Send and Archive, Undo Send, and Stars in order to become more efficient in Google Mail.